Lesson learned. It doesn't mean that just because you run your own business, you're gonna get to do whatever you want. Where are we going? To the moon. <laughs> Just listening to a bit of delight. Anyway, I'm probably only dancing because I've just eaten a load of sugar, which I really needed. It's Monday morning. I did like a Skype interview with the lady who runs my website. So that was cool. And then was just talking to her about Pin School, which is a new course of mine that I'm launching tomorrow. And was just checking that all the um, back end like integration and stuff is actually gonna work and all that shit. It's so sunny outside and I'm really sad that I'm inside, but at the same time, I do love it. This is what I want to do. I mean, look, it's so sunny outside. I don't know if you can even see my shitty garden. Oh, it's so nice. This is what we've been waiting for. This summer, this is what we've been waiting for. I suppose if I didn't have deadlines and stuff, I could, of course, take the day off. But because I have students who are waiting for things and brands that are waiting for things, it just doesn't work like that. So lesson learned. It doesn't mean that just because you run your own business, you're going to get to do whatever you want. I've got my to-do list. Actually, these are the notes for class. So this is what I'm planning on working on today. I'm gonna get on with my work now. I don't think today is gonna be a very interesting day for vlogging. But you know, I kind of started this to show people what the real life of being like, I don't even know what you wanna call me. Like, entrepreneur sounds so wanky. A girl who's running her own business. Who's a mum and a wifey. What it's like to run your own business and still try and have a life doing it. Get to see it all. I'm just so lucky. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting on with my work now. Bye, love you. Can you tell I'm going a bit stir crazy just sitting at home working on my own? Uh, I want to show you these pillows, Jason. Are you looking? Yep. They're, they're from E. Come and feel them. What's so special about them? Oh, just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all it takes to be? See? So snuggly! It is... What day is it? Wednesday morning! It is so hot right now. And we've all been moaning about how there's no summer and now summer's here and everyone's struggling. Marley's taking it all in her stride though, aren't you? You seem to like this heat, Mars, don't you? Yes. You like being warm? Yeah. So we've had this box turn up, so we're gonna open it, see what's inside, yeah? Should we see what's inside? Yes. Yes. Oh. That's it. Oh, look at this, Marley. It's a new toaster in the kettle. I kind of love this. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> new bits from Farfetch. Finally got the stussy jumper that I've been waiting for. Although now it's boiling and I can't wear it. Love it. Look at the colour. <laughs> Basically, these are crummy old kickboards and I'm going to sand them down and then I'm going to spray paint them gold. Because <laughs> why not? Right, so this is the first coat. <coughs> And now I need to leave this to dry and do a few more so that it's really even because it's still quite patchy and the bloody ants keep getting stuck in it. Stupid. I'm trying to see if while I'm sitting in the garden I can catch some Pokemon, but clearly Pokemon don't live in my garden. I'm so upset. Now I just have to sit here and literally watch paint dry. I was just watching this video on Facebook and I thought it was really cool and then I realised it was filmed in Croydon and down Tower Street Market which makes it even more cool and it's a pretty banging tune as well. I kind of like this. Check the cool new teapot. No, kettle, Sarah. What the f it's pretty cool, right? And the toaster. Hi. 
It is Thursday afternoon and we're at my mum's house. It's my brother's 24th birthday and we are having a little barbecue but he's not even here yet. A bit focused, I can't see. This is mum. <laughs> Well, how old are you today? I'm 24 years old. Oh my god, you're so old yeah. and mature. I know, right? You're so mature. I just wanted to say we had a lovely day at the barbecue. Met my brother's girlfriend for the first time and she's lovely. And yeah, I would have normally been working today, but I think it's really important to prioritise family matters. So I took the afternoon off. Friday morning. I feel like this week has just. Oh, da -da. Marley wants to show you all her toys. I feel like this week has just been me showing you me working on the laptop over and over again. I feel like it's getting quite boring. So, this is a blog post that I put up this week. It's all about when I went to um, do yoga at the Shard, which you probably saw like a couple of weeks ago on my vlog, and going to the Shangri La Hotel. <laughs> This afternoon, we've been invited to go to a new hotel, the Citizen M Hotel in Tower Hill, and uh, do a cocktail making class, which will be awesome because I've always wanted to do that. Just to show you what I was doing the other day, I was spray painting these kickboards to try and just liven up the kitchen a bit and make it look like less crummy. Miles, come away from the window now. Yeah, so as I was saying before Marley attempted to escape out of the window, is that I was just spray painting the kickboard. So there's one, and the other ones we need to put in. But I think it does look quite cool, even though they're just spray painted. Hey, baby, where are we going? To the moon. <laughs> so we are just walking up to Citizen M Hotel, and it's quite nice for us to have an adult evening, isn't it? That's right, Date that's right. Date night. Yeah. <laughs> room it's quite small but cleverly designed so that it doesn't actually feel very small very London space saving friendly you all right Jay? Yeah, Saturday morning, we just woke up in the Citizen M Hotel in Tower Hill. It's only just recently opened, like in the last week or so. I had a really good night's sleep actually. And we didn't wake up till 9.30, which to us is like a proper lion. This is like our view from our bedroom in the morning. I'm gonna go and get breakfast somewhere and have a bit of nice adult time before we head back. <laughs> Sunday morning and today we're going over to Polston Lacey in Dorking which is like a National Trust place because it's my grandparents 60th wedding anniversary which is so amazing hang on my phone's ringing Hi we're at Polston Lacey and I was excited about the house but it's all covered in scaffolding You right any? Sarcastic sister So my a grandparents got a card from the Queen <laughs> with her face on it. Can you 
Squishing me. Hey. Hi everyone. So we're back from Polston Lacey. Did you have a nice time, Mummy? Yeah. What did you do? And um, run around. We had a nice lunch. Yeah. And eat cake. It was a really nice day. Just for them to have got to 60 years of being married is like so amazing. And actually out of all of us there, like the only people who could even like physically get to 60 years is like me and Jay. So we've got 49 years to go and then we could be celebrating our 60th. Right, Jason's home, so it's time to be mummy now, bye.